Let's take a look at my newest beginner-friendly shawl called the Vinstiff Shawl. The Vinstiff Shawl combines a few of my favorite early design features and mashes them up into a simple new top-down shawl. I really love this design because it feels like something I would have designed when I very first started because it has that simple stitch vibe and that clean architectural style. And I was playing a lot with twisted stitches in a couple of my early designs, like in the herbivore shawl was the symmetrical top-down shawl that had these twisted stitches. And one of my very first brioche shawls was the Excuse Me shawl that uses the same shape as the Vinstiff shawl. So this is the brioche Excuse Me shawl that has that same skewed slanting effect in the fabric. So I wanted to give you that shape because I love wearing this asymmetrical top-down style. But for those of you that don't want to do the brioche version, now you have a simple stockinette and twisted rib version of this shape. It's also echoing that twisted ribbing of the Vinstiff hat. So Vinstiff is a German word that means like slanted or askewed. So that's why I named the Vinstiff hat with that diagonal slanted twisted ribbing. So this is a coordinating shawl. So if you knit the shawl, you could also have a coordinating Vinstiff hat with that one skein DK weight hat. But the shawl begins top down and you'll find that beautiful twisted ribbing just on one half of the shawl. And later you'll, you will encounter a decrease that stops that twisted ribbing. And then you do another stockinette stitch section over there. If you haven't done many of my top down shawls, believe it or not, this is all knit in one piece. It looks like different sections, but you're knitting back and forth with increases. And then later you do a little decrease but it's really simple shaping. I really set up the pattern with just one element at a time to get you accustomed to the stitches and any new element gives you a long period to repeat it. So it's really good for one of your first simple textured shawls and it's just a relaxing project. You can choose between a small size with two skeins of fingering weight yarn, 100 grams of each skein. I used Punk Rock Unicorn's Soul Base it's a really soft merino nylon blend, and it's just buttery soft with vivid hand-dyed colors. This colorway is called Fleeter Specks. It's a lovely lavender with orange speckles, and I think their pur purples are some of their strongest colorways. This is called Cineplum. I think that two skeins of that would be beautiful for a small size, and Clematis is their electric orchid purple. That would be amazing for two skeins a small size as well. If you want to knit a large size, all you have to do is keep knitting. So it's just a matter of doing more pattern repeats and those are included in the instructions and that's the size that I'm wearing here. So it's with one extra skein of yarn to knit the large size. So we have a lot of kits that we put together at Stephen and Penelope and all those include enough yarn for the large size. So this is the comparison. There's quite a bit of extra depth to the shawl with that extra skein and it makes a longer wingspan as well. So when I wrap the small size around, it's plenty big to wrap around like a little shawl and you'll get these little wing tips here, not too big. So if you don't like your shawls to be massive, then just go with two skeins um, and they could be of the same color. You could go semi-solid, you could do a light speckle or even variegated yarns would look nice because the textures are so simple. This one's called Red Velvet, and this one is Maroni, these beautiful, warm, orange and red colors. But a small size will wrap around really nice, and the large is a bit more of a dramatic, cozy drape. So if you just toss it around once, you have this beautiful drape, and it can cover a lot of your shoulders, and this one hangs more down to my waist when I wear it just wrapped around the shoulder. And then if you drape it like a scarf, I'm gonna shorten that tail and that's going just down to my belly. It's not too, too long. But then when you wrap it around once, you've got a little bit more fabric to drape and it's you can do a little more styling stuff with it. You could tie the tails or you could shift it around and you could wrap that tail around 
a second time. So it can just give you a little more fabric, a little bit more, more warmth. But this is with three skeins. So pay attention to your fingering weight uh, grams as well in your skeins. So when I'm saying three skeins, I'm talking about 100 grams in each skein. So all our kits will have three skeins of hand dyed yarn, or if you're knitting a kit with Westwool Bicycle, these come in 50 gram skeins. So if you wanna do a large size with our Westwool, then make sure you have six skeins, and that'll give you 300 total grams. So six skeins of Westwool for the large size, or just four skeins of Westwool for the small size. So that's the Vinstjif shawl. I really love the simplicity of this. And it's one of those shawl projects that can be a relaxing in-between project. So if you're doing a more complicated blanket or big sweater project, this is just a beautiful grab and go, knit in the car or knit on any road trips that you have and uh, something really simple and striking with those nice clean lines. So you can find this pattern. It's on Ravelry and on westknits.com. And if you like this yarn, you'll find all these fun kits at Stephen and Penelope. So again, this was with Punk Rock Unicorn, and I just love the glowing hand-dyed colors. So get creative with your color choices, and if you love the shawl, you can make a matching hat, or then venture into the brioche world and play with this really fun shape in the brioche ribbing form for the Excuse Me shawl. So thanks for watching. There's some more fun, simple shawl patterns coming at you later this year, and I hope you enjoy these nice kind of refresh takes and mashups of some of my original design ideas and bringing them back into uh, today's knitting world with some fresh new yarns.